The test statistic of z equals negative 0.53 is obtained when testing the claim that the population proportion is less than 3 sevenths. This is a left tailed test. Using a 0.01 significance level, we're going to complete parts A and B. We want to be able to find the critical values. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so first and foremost, let's just go ahead and repeat some of the things that we have in here. So the claim tells us that the population proportion, so this is the claim, right? The claim is that it is less than 3 sevenths. Okay, now if we wanted to check and do the alt null and the alternative hypothesis, well, we know the claim is p is less than 3 sevenths, and therefore the opposite of the claim would be that the population proportion is greater than or equal to 3 sevenths. Okay, so then that's going to allow us to identify the null in the alternative hypothesis, and the null always contains the equal sign, so therefore we know that p is going to equal 3 sevenths for the null, and therefore the claim is going to be the alternative hypothesis where p is going to be less than 3 sevenths, okay, which is what they're already telling us over here. Now remember that since this is less than, then that tells us that this is going to be a left tail test, which is what they're telling us in the question. It's a left tail test, okay? And then they're also telling us that this, <coughs> excuse me, that the significance level is 0 0.01. So that means alpha is equal to 0 0.01, okay? And we also know that the test statistic for this proportion is given to be negative 0.53. So z is equal to negative 0.53. Okay, so now we want to draw the curve and then label it and then determine the critical value. Okay, so we know that it is a left tail and we also know that the significance level is equal to 0 0.01. So that means on StatCrunch, what we want to do is we want to find out what is that critical value Okay, because we know it's a left tail. So what is that critical value here? When we know that this area to the left represents 0 0.01. So that means we're looking for the critical value that is going to be less than or equal to whatever that is that's going to give us the area of 0 0.01. So what is that critical value? Okay, and so down here I'm just going to go ahead and shade so we can uh, erase and put this as CV so we know that that represents the critical value. So down here this is critical value all right, now we're going to go ahead and use StatCrunch to find that critical value. Okay, so to find that critical value, what we need to do is go to Stat, select Calculators, and the critical Z value, so we're going to go to Normal. Okay, we know our left, it's going pointing to the left, and then we're going to put in the area of 0 0.0100, and then select Compute. And therefore, rounding that to two decimal places gives us a critical value of negative 2.33. So this is to the left of that, which is negative 2.33. Okay, and so what that tells us is that this shaded area represents the 
critical region. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and then put in our critical value of negative 2.33 into our results. So we would say that there is one critical value, and that critical value is negative 2.33. And there is our result. Now it says, should we reject the null or should we fail to reject the null hypothesis? Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to make a decision. And that means that we need to take a look at if we reject the null, if the test statistic is in the critical region, and we fail to reject the null if the test statistic is not in the critical region. Well, if we come back here, this is the test statistic that was given. Okay, so the test statistic is z, which is equal to negative 0 0.53. <clears throat> Okay, so if you notice that negative 0 0.53 is probably going to be somewhere over here. And therefore, it is not in the critical region. So we would say that the test statistic z equals negative 0 0.53 is not in the critical region. And so therefore, since it is not in the critical region, then we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. And so, since we failed to reject the null hypothesis, we can now answer part B. We would say that the following, since we failed to reject the null hypothesis, we would say, so, the null hypothesis should not be rejected since the test statistic is not in the critical region. So, we would say C. The null hypothesis should not be rejected since the test statistic is not in the critical region.